know, I love technology and computers because they, they allowed me to do things I couldn't do otherwise, but at the same time, they were too perfect in a way. And I feel like there's some kind of like soul lost in the translation of what I was trying to do and what came out at the other end from the computer. So I tried to basically bring in natural elements and I think that was just all informed by growing up in a, in a place where everything was kind of imperfect. I actually grew up in Sacramento, uh, something nice and bucolic and rural about that area and it was, I think it really kind of informed my sensibilities as far as the, the kind of textures I use for the, the music and, and uh, the design. Didn't really get into electronic till, till probably uh, college I had and I got a drum machine fixed and then from there I started deciding okay maybe I can approach real instruments but it all started with kind of the electronic side and that was right when I was getting into listening to electronic music so I was starting to ask like how is this stuff made so I was just kind of fascinated with the, the technical side of it and then slowly moved into the actually creating. Yeah, the thing is, you know, I spent pretty much all the last 10 years on design and music was always kind of this back burner thing. And in the years that followed when I wasn't really working much on music, I always had in my head like this album that I had always wanted to make and it, it kind of kept taking shape and I kept working on my skills and stuff, just trying to get better at recording and producing. And then, you know, about a year ago, I just seemed like it was the time to sit down and, and really just do it. And it actually <laughs> took so long, man. Like, you know, I, I kind of trickled out these singles and just didn't have time to finish the album and then finally uh, got around to sitting down and doing it over the last year. I think the first song, which is called A Walk, from a technical standpoint, and to me, it was, kind of brings together everything you know, it's got acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and all the synths, and real drums, and synth drums. It's, it's kind of like the amalgamation of, of everything we've been working on. It's this old 80s reverb called a Ursa Major. But anyways, you, you run anything through that and it's just ugly, man, because it just dirties everything up and it makes it just sound like it's coming from outer space. So I'll run a lot of guitar stuff and synths through that. If you run an electric guitar through that, you can get it to sound like this huge pad and it doesn't even sound like a guitar anymore. So that's at the beginning of uh, hours off the album. The whole, the big swell pad is, is basically just a guitar running through that thing. I worked on design a lot more earlier on, and I think that was kind of like the prototype for how I ended up making music. But it, it kind of was pretty natural though, as I started to work with you know, different recording techniques and stuff, I just started to realize there's this, these parallels between the way I was working on the design side and the music, and, it, and it's all kind of the same thing. Like, you know, if, if something's too perfect, like coding in this haze or, you know, putting this patina on it or whatever, and it was kind of the same idea on both sides. Try to, try to make everything feel imperfect or a little bit warmer, you know.
personally, I just feel like as the longer you work as a designer, the more you're going to tend towards minimalism because the idea of design for me is like expressing these ideas in this kind of concise and uh, efficient way. Earlier on, it was more these kind of like almost like recreating photographs, like I was saying, like recreating these scenes or these, these panoramas. Kind of did what I wanted to do with, with a kind of maximalism, Fillmore West type thing. And then I started moving more into like European and Swiss, like 60s, a little bit more minimal and all that stuff. I think it's really at the core of it all, it's all about color and the interplay of color. And I just like creating these palettes, creating some cool lines that confine it all. But the whole idea overall is that I'd like to be able to break down every poster into like a set of swatches and, and that stands on its own as like something really interesting, you know. But at the same time, it's kind of just part of the backdrop of my childhood, I'm sure, is seeing just random stuff like that here and there. And I, I think that sticks with you kind of subconsciously, you know. I used to see playing live as almost like a necessary evil. I'm not very comfortable up there to begin with, and when that's just me up there and the laptop thing, I never really found what I, my niche of like what I wanted to be doing up there. And I was doing live visuals for a long time, and I really feel like I couldn't connect with the audience because I don't think they really understood what was happening, and I started to kind of learn how to work with other people. It really just made me realize it's great to have this other perspective, and I feel like I'm still very early in my musicianship, you know, and these guys having like pros around you, it's just like, wow, like seeing the, what they can do, it's, uh, you know, it's inspiring. And, and plus it's just cool to bounce ideas off of everybody and really finding that space where I belong and also just having those guys up there, it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable and feel like I can just relax and play my part and not all the focus is on me and I can just kind of sit back, you know, just be a role player. And they're so good that it's like, even if I screw up, they just kind of, they keep it going. I think the end result is, is much better when everybody's perspective's been included. I grew up right by a river and spent most of my childhood swimming and there's something about the being in the water that's the most alien place you're ever going to be when you're on the earth. And there's also the, the idea of flowing. I really like every part in the song needs to kind of fade out and become the other part. Overall, just the idea that the design and the, the music complete each other's kind of ideas, is, there's a fluidity to that. So I, I think it's kind of this overarching concept of water. Um.